Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to introduce you to a mattress that you've probably never heard of. It's called the Freedom Sleep Mattress. And the reason we're showing it to you is because this is one patriotic mattress. And because it's really cheap. Stick around. So let's start by diving into the details of what's actually in a Freedom Sleep Mattress. Overall, you're looking at a 10 inch mattress. There's four total layers. The top two inches are a 3.6 pound density of Vena foam. Now, a Vena foam is an engineered polyurethane foam that has pretty similar characteristics to latex, but is not actually latex. Um, the next layer below that is a one and a half inch layer of four pound density gel memory foam. Then you got another one and a half inch layer, but this one is one and a half pound density transition foam. And then below that, you've got the five inch layer of, of support foam in a 1.8 pound density. So now let's get into the softness levels of these various foams, because I think this is something interesting about the Freedom Sleep. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work up. The bottom five inches is this really firm support layer. I mean, this is a rock solid foam. Um, then above that, you have a transition layer, which normally is meant to bridge the gap between softer comfort layers above and a, and a, and a firmer support layer below. But in, in this case, it's, it's fairly soft, this transition layer. Um, it's a pretty big difference between this and the support layer. Then above that, you have a gel memory foam layer, which is even softer. Then on the top, you have an Avena foam layer, which is seemingly firmer, certainly than the gel memory foam, and maybe even a little firmer than the, the transition layer. It's hard to say for sure, but the overall effect is certainly one where your softest layer is not the top layer. So it is, at the, for sure, it's that gel memory foam layer. So as a result, when you just sort of feel this at this level, you're not really getting a true sense of how soft this mattress is. You kind of have to access that gel memory foam layer at least before you really get a sense of the overall softness. And the last thing to add on the construction is that all of that is wrapped in a cover, uh, the, which I would say maybe the most defining characteristic is just a very tight stretch cover. Um, you can see how tightly it's, it's pulled, but it does stretch. Um, and the other thing to add is that if you really wanna up the patriotism ante a little bit, they offer this mattress in red, white, and blue, where you can get red trim on the bottom, like this cord here, with a navy blue side panel and a white top. And it's pretty sweet. So be sure to check that out. So in terms of the overall softness level of this mattress, we classify this as a medium. But as we described earlier, it's a bit of a blend because what you're blending is a little bit of a, a medium firm maybe level of softness on that top of Venafoam layer with more of like a medium soft level of softness in those next layer or two below that. Kind of overall effect blends out to a medium. So now let's get into the two things that absolutely everybody has to get from their bed, which are back support and pressure relief. I'm gonna start out on my back because that's the position I predominantly sleep in. And just for context, I'm about six feet tall, not quite 200 pounds. And overall, what I'd say about back sleepers is I think they're pretty well served by this mattress. I have enjoyed sleeping on this mattress on my back. Um, what you can see here is that my, my uh, lumbar is pretty well supported. Um, my midsection is sinking down into the mattress, but not too much. And uh, overall, I don't have a lot of concerns for back sleepers larger or smaller than me. So I think in general, this is gonna be a pretty good fit for most back sleepers. Um, turning to my stomach, in this position, I feel like it's okay for me. I haven't had any concerns or problems myself per se, but again, I don't spend a lot of time in this position. And what I sense is that when I do spend time in this position, I feel that my midsection, which is the heaviest part of anyone's body, maybe is starting to sink just a little too far into the mattress. So while I don't have a lot of concern for stomach sleepers who are lighter than me on this mattress, um, I might have some concern for stomach sleepers who are a bit heavier than me, that you could experience some overarching of your back uh, in a stomach position, which, which is not a good thing in the stomach position and can lead to some back pain. Um, turning to my side, in this position, you really have to worry about 
both um, back support and keeping that spine in proper alignment as well as pressure relief um, because here particularly your shoulders and your hips can be susceptible to pressure points. Um, in terms of spinal alignment, I feel pretty well aligned here. I, I definitely feel like my shoulder is able to kind of sink into the mattress enough so that the top of my spine is not up tilted. It feels pretty, pretty level for me. And I do think that generally the softness of these comfort layers is going to be a pretty good, uh, is going to be flexible enough to handle a lot of side sleepers from a back support standpoint. What I worry about here is that maybe heavier back sleepers could experience some pressure points on this mattress. Lighter back sleepers, I, I, sorry, side sleepers. Lighter side sleepers I think are okay from a pressure relief standpoint. For me, I feel like I was okay, but mostly because I don't spend a lot of time in this position. When I did, I started to sense a little bit of pressure points here, particularly in my shoulders for me. Um, but I worry that if, if you were, particularly if you're heavier than I am and you're a side sleeper predominantly, that this could become an issue where um, you're maybe, I'm not sure exactly why it's happening, but it could be because you're kind of sinking through those softer comfort layers on top and there is that really firm support layer down below that's not going to be very forgiving. So you might find in your hips or your shoulders, particularly again if you're heavier than me, um, that you run into some pressure point issues in, on your side. Now let's get into some of the more preference-based characteristics, meaning things a mattress can be one way or another on that are not better or worse, they're just a matter of personal preference. And the first of these is what we call responsiveness, meaning uh, the difference between a mattress that is quick responding or bouncy versus a mattress that's slow responding or a kind of memory feel. Um, and we're going to start out by just dropping a bowling ball on this mattress to give you a little bit of sense. Um, this is a 16 pound bowling ball and we drop it down and you can see there's a little bit of bounce, but not a whole lot. Um, and that is um, typical of all foam mattresses. Uh, we're gonna now test with a little what we call deep bounce, where I put my whole 200 pound frame down on the mattress. And there you really see virtually no bounce to speak of. Um, but now we're gonna test what we would call surface bounce, where I just kind of drop my fingers down on this top two inch layer and certainly there you feel some bounce. Um, I feel definitely this Avena foam layer which again is somewhat latex like in its properties is, is definitely giving a, a, a good amount of bounce to me when I'm just kind of pressing down lightly on the mattress. So there definitely is a little bit of bounce right up at the top of the mattress and that's probably the main reason the bowling ball even bounced as much as it did. Um, but overall not a particularly bouncy mattress. Now let's turn to the other side of the spectrum because this is actually a mattress that does have some memory foam. So I'm gonna put my hands into the mattress and we're just gonna watch the response time. And you can see that there is some delayed responsiveness, but again, there's only one and a half inches of memory foam here. So it's not a whole lot and it's pretty quick responding overall. So in terms of where this mattress falls on balance, we would definitely say that overall, it's not a bouncy mattress. You're not gonna get down and feel like, oh, it's just, this is bouncy. It's, so it, you're gonna put it towards the memory side of the spectrum, but really not very much. It doesn't have a whole lot of memory feel either. Um, and it does have that uh, quick responding uh, surface bounce. So just barely towards the slow responding side of the spectrum is where this one falls. Another important characteristic is cushioning depth because some people prefer the sensation of sleeping on their mattress or even kind of floating above it and others prefer the sensation of sleeping in their mattress or being kind of hugged or cradled by it. And this is an interesting mattress in this regard because it has a bit of a blend of each. When I first laid down on it I actually felt more like it was a floating type of sensation and that was because I think I immediately was focused on this top layer of a vena foam, which definitely has a buoyancy to it. Like it kind of lifts you up. Um, and under, but underneath this is, are those softer layers of foam. And so what happens is you really do, as you lay on the mattress, kind of settle into the mattress because of those softer layers under the avena. And so overall, 
we would say that there, this is actually slightly deeper than average cushioning, particularly if you're about my size, for example. Um, and that, so your experience may vary if you're significantly lighter than me, let's say. Um, but overall, we're going to classify this as slightly deeper than average cushioning. And this is kind of borne out by the bowling ball, which, you know, it's, it's definitely a little deeper than what, we would, what we've seen with, uh, you know, most of our other mattresses, but not a whole lot. So a bit of a blend with this mattress, but slightly more hug than floating feeling. So now we're going to get into some of the more priority-based considerations, meaning things that a mattress can be better or worse at that may or may not be a priority for you personally. The first of these is motion isolation, which basically means is the person on that side of the bed going to be affected by the activity over on this side of the bed? And we're going to test that first and foremost by dropping this 16-pound bowling ball. And you can see that bowling pin doesn't really move that much. So overall, that's a, first of all, very good sign. Now I'm gonna drop my whole 200 pounds down on the bed next to my partner. Pretty inconsiderate, um, but I'm gonna do it again just to see. Still the bowling pin doesn't tip over, so definitely this mattress has very good motion isolation, and that's not surprising given the all foam construction. Another important criteria for some people is edge support. Uh, and this is not generally a strength of all foam mattresses like this. Um, and I would say the Freedom Sleep is kind of no exception. As you can see here, I'm sitting on the edge, substantial amount of dip here. Um, that being said, I'm totally stable. I'm not sliding off the bed in any way, but it's, it's uh, certainly the case that there's a lot of dip. Um, let's take a look at how it looks when I'm laying on the side of the mattress. Um, and what I can say is I get my shoulder blade right on the edge here and I certainly feel like I'm leaning. Um, so it's not super strong edge, but at the same time, I'm not being ejected. So it's better than some. Another important consideration for some people is temperature or sleeping hot. And on an all foam mattress, uh, this can be a challenge because you're generally not gonna get quite as much airflow as you would on say an inner spring mattress. Um, so on the one hand, if sleeping hot is a known concern for you, uh, a known issue that you've had in the past, then we might steer you towards mattresses that just generally have a construction that uh, has more airflow to it. However, if you're not in that category, and most people are not, then what we would tell you is that you're probably not gonna have uh, a temperature issue on most mattresses, um, even if they are all foam. In the case of this particular mattress, uh, they did take one step to try to address concerns about heat, which is that the memory foam used in this mattress is gel memory foam. So in theory, the gel in that mattress is a conductor, or in that layer is a conductor, and thereby allows heat to travel more easily through that layer of foam and away from your body. So that is something that you can take some comfort from as it relates to this mattress in particular. One concern for some people, particularly on mattresses that involve memory foam, is ease of repositioning. So we're just gonna give you a sense of how it is to reposition on this mattress. And what I would say is that, in general, this is a mattress that is not too difficult to reposition on, but because of the deeper cushioning uh, that we talked about, it is a little harder than some, but vast majority of people are gonna have no issue whatsoever. I only mention it for those people for whom repositioning is a serious uh, difficulty. Another important consideration for some people is kind of health and safety related to natural materials or maybe just the lack of harmful chemicals. And in this case, this is by no means in any way a natural mattress. Um, so there is one thing though that you can take some comfort from, which is that all the foams used in this mattress are certified to the CertiPure standard, which basically is a standard that looks for the presence of various harmful chemicals as well as the off-gassing of such chemicals and certifies that neither are present beyond some minimally acceptable threshold. So with the, when it comes to this mattress, that is something that you can take some comfort from. One thing we get asked about more and more is adjustable base compatibility. So 
here you have it, the Freedom Sleep mattress on an adjustable base. Um, what I can tell you is that the construction of this mattress is such that there's nothing that's going to harm this mattress by using it on an adjustable base. So uh, overall, we would definitely classify this as adjustable base friendly. Um, in terms of what we look at, you know, we're trying to look for how does it conform. Generally, mattresses take a little while to break in. We have not had this mattress in an upright position on an adjustable base much to this point. Um, I'm going to just hop off so you can see uh, how it looks when a human gets off of it. Um, this is pretty common um, for a new mattress, but particularly this is more extreme than, than, uh, than normal, and that's on account of that really firm uh, base support layer of foam. So what's happening is that that layer just does not want to flex. <laughs> so uh, it will break in over time, but I just wanted to let you know to expect that if you put your uh, mattress on an adjustable base, it's going to need the weight of a human, an American, to weigh it down. One thing people sometimes like to see is what the mattress looks like when it's being unboxed. So we're filming this right up front uh, as we open it. Um, few impressions about the box. It weighs 68 pounds in a queen size. Pretty standard size, not quite four feet tall, not quite a foot and a half in each of these two dimensions. Uh, generally a two person job getting a box like this up a flight of stairs. Um, this one, made in America. So you got that. All right, let's open it up. So there you have it, the Freedom Sleep mattress fully unboxed in all its American glory. Uh, one thing we do like to do, sometimes people ask us uh, to what extent you get that chemical smell when it first comes out of the plastic, so we like to just kind of give it a, a smell. Um, I would say it's pretty typical of most mattresses we open. There's a bit of a new mattress smell for sure. Um, I can get just a little bit of it from this level that I'm at, not like a ton. I definitely can get some when I put my nose to it. Um, it doesn't bother me. It's not something that I generally am sensitive to, uh, but I put this about normal, about average with most online mattresses that we open. One thing that's important when you're buying a mattress online is return policy, because there's no way to try the Freedom Sleep mattress before you buy it. So like many other online mattress companies, Freedom Sleep offers a very generous return policy, which is that you have 100 nights to try this mattress in your home, during which time you can return it for any reason for a full refund. So overall, we definitely think that this can give you a lot of extra confidence in giving this mattress a try. One thing that's important to just about every mattress shopper is value. When we think about value, we always think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last. In terms of the cost, the current price of the Freedom Sleep mattress is $5.99 in a queen size, and that's before any good bed discount would be applied. In terms of what you're getting for that, you're getting first and foremost a 10-inch all-foam construction mattress with what we would consider to be about three and a half inches of premium comfort materials, that being the Avena foam plus that gel memory foam underneath it. In terms of how long we think it's going to last, we would generally turn to the densities of the foams as our best, albeit imperfect, predictor of longevity. And to cover those just kind of from the bottom up, you have the five inch support layer in a 1.8 pound density, which is definitely a good density and certainly on par with uh, most of the other online mattress companies at even a few hundred dollars more in price. Um, then you have uh, the inch and a half transition layer right above that in a one and a half pound density. That would be, if there is one, I think the weak link of this mattress. And so far as that link, that layer is going to take some compression um, 
and one and a half pounds is not the highest density. Um, so, but then above that, you have the gel memory foam, an inch and a half in a four pound density, which again is good. Um, and then you've got above that, the Avena foam in a 3.6 pound density, which for that type of foam, 3.6 pound density is also good. So really you just have that one possible weak link and it's buried three and a half inches down in the mattress and it's only an inch and a half thick to begin with. So even if it does soften over time, it may not be such a detrimental uh, effect on your overall experience on the mattress. So overall, when I try to just size up the value that you're getting, in terms of just sort of strictly the amount of mattress you're getting for the money here, I definitely think that this is a really good value. So just to sum up some of the things we've covered in this video, the Freedom Sleep mattress is a 10 inch all foam mattress featuring Avena and gel memory foam over foam construction. We talked about how this is a mattress that can be suitable for, from a back support and press release standpoint for a pretty broad range of sleepers in terms of weights and sleep positions. Um, but we also talked about how if you're someone who, for example, is maybe my weight or heavier and a stomach sleeper, then this might not be an ideal fit for you from a back support standpoint. And likewise, if you're someone maybe my weight or heavier and a side sleeper, this might not be ideal for you from a pressure relief standpoint. Uh, likewise, we talked about how if edge support is a critical consideration for you, then there are certainly other mattresses that might be a better fit for you. However, if you're looking for a mattress that has just that medium level of softness with kind of a blend between floating on top of it and being hugged or cradled by it, um, and maybe most importantly, if price and value are amongst your top criteria in looking for a mattress. And if all the other considerations that we described in this video sound like a good match for you, then we definitely think that the Freedom Sleep mattress is one that you should consider. So we hope you found this video helpful in determining whether the Freedom Sleep mattress is an American enough mattress for you. But if you're still not sure, we might want to add that it was made in the USA. And if you're still not sure whether it's the right mattress for you, we recommend you go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz. In the meantime, we really hope you sleep well. America.